So, uh, this guy, I'm done already. And I called because they said to call because I was probably getting done early. But they said I can go home! Oh, yeah! I love you. Do you love them? Uh-huh. We, we'll have to go to Aunt Susie's later, okay? Hi, Susie's! Susie's! Took a little break to go to Lowe's, get some mommy time, and get some materials for the sheep shed. Jared didn't have to work today. Well, he did. He had like less than half a day. It's crazy. Probably half a day, actually. And then they just told him to go, so we're working on the sheep shed, but Toby is um, with Jared right now because he hasn't been feeling good. So while I'm here, Jared's going to be digging holes and setting posts for it. And so now I'm going to get some lumber and then hopefully work on it when we get home. What are you drinking? Mmm. Toby, he always runs away from me. Toby, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? Uh, frappe, caramel frappe. And I got my sugar free folks. My wonderful wife went to Lowe's. Went and got two by fours. We're gonna build a sheep shed tonight. All right. I see that you got the light up. That looks great. Show me your breath in the flashlight. Show me how you do that. Do you see your breath in the flashlight? <laughs> Here's the wall in the making. You got the gate hung. One more, please. One more, please. Thank you. <laughs> One more, please. One more, please. Thank you. And here is the sheep shed. A little gate to get out. And a little swing for Toby by the sheep. Kind of tall. Too tall. I gotta get more string tomorrow. And we'll make it shorter for him, but. Do you like and your swing? Gotta finish this wall. And there's a big gate that we reuse from our property for getting in. And then that gate will let him out into their higher, higher. field. Uh, higher. Higher. You're already like really high off the ground. I'm not gonna push you too high right now. finally a burn day today. So Jared started this fire before work and I'm going to monitor it all day and hopefully it'll be down before I have to leave the house tonight. Toby, where does daddy work? Daddy, ooh, 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 uh, truck. <laughs> Is UPS truck? Uh -huh. He's a ooh, ooh, uh, driver. He's a ooh, ooh, uh, driver. I love this rain. Rain is my favorite weather. And the camp trailer just amplifies the sound. I love it so much. Wow. That's a big puddle. We have little survival man over here trying to drink the water out of the puddle. Don't drink that, that's disgusting. Toby, Toby, do not drink it. <coughs> Get up, let's go to the bigger puddles. Bigger puddles! Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Mama. Okay, show me the big puddles. <laughs> My day has been made. Look at that. I got a coupon thing from Welcome to the Neighborhood. And they give you a bunch of coupons of things you don't really want to use. And then you get this one, and it just makes your heart happy. Woo! Yeah, pizza. Look at here. Pizza. 
here is our sheep shed in the daytime. I am so excited. I really like the way it turned out. Just plywood walls, simple, simple. And a nice gate out this way. I got a package this morning. I am so excited. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. I was looking for a faucet for my beautiful farmhouse sink and I was looking at Facebook Marketplace and faucets are so expensive. And I was praying, I'm like, Lord, please give me a beautiful faucet. And I saw one, but of course it was not in town. So I just messaged the lady and I was like, is there any chance you'd be interested in shipping it? And she's like, sure. And it was only $20. And then she said that, that she paid $450 for it and just didn't want it sitting around wasting the space. And so she said she'd ship it to me. And so I'm going to try it on my sink. There's, there's no other better place to keep it right now than outside. So that's where it's been being stored. But let's try it on. It's looking like a junkyard back here with all sorts of random stuff. But there's my sink. It's up back here with the tub. <laughs> and... It's okay though, because that's where they've been these last several, 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 several years. And then I have to get them refinished anyway. It's super dirty. But let's open this package. Alrighty! Let's see here. I'm so excited. Oh, she's my kind of person. Tape the living daylights out of it. Let's see here. Okay, that should just open. Let's see. Here's the faucet. So excited. So pretty. Oh, look at that. A metal sprayer. You can hold it. You got me. Look at that beautiful faucet. That is a dream of a faucet. There's definitely wear and tear on it for sure, but I think considering the price and considering how stinking gorgeous it is, it definitely exceeds my expectation. And I do not think that it was just luck or coincidence. That was definitely God smiling at me for sure. Ah. I love it! Come here, new swing. Your new swing right by the sheep shed so you can swing and watch the sheep So the lady we're getting the sheep from told us that we should probably go ahead and block off this wall Just so completely so that they have a three wall enclosure and so we'll do that after a while But first I think we're gonna go ahead and unload the stuff that we got at the Grange for the sheep of this man taking a break when he got home from work but he said he was gonna wire up the light for me in the sheep shed instead what a sweetie and we have a light in the sheep shed yeah. only one thing left to do before we get the sheep in it to close this wall ready for the sheep the day after tomorrow I think I'm more excited than anybody <laughs>
just made some homemade elderberry syrup with some local honey. Super excited about that. And hopefully this will help us to get over what we've got and to not catch anything else. Me and Toby left just a little bit ago to go get a pocket door for our bedroom. I found it on Craigslist or on Facebook Marketplace for a really, really good deal. And then we were going to go to Goodwill after and had to turn around and come straight back home because it started pouring like crazy on the door and getting it soaked. So here it is. Super, super pretty. I'm kind of bummed. The guy did tell me that there was a little bit of separation because it was stored in a garage and had some moisture hit it. So there's a little bit of separation there, but I don't think it'll be too bad once I can sand it and stain it. Get it on our bedroom door. The reason why we're sticking with the pocket door though was because when we were looking for or thinking about other options in our bedroom, we didn't want, I'll show you. We didn't want the door to swing this way because then it would stick further in the room. And then we also didn't want it to swing this way because it would cover up the closets and it already has a pocket. So we might as well utilize it and this door was the perfect size. Start it out, okay? Hey. Well, it's gonna get hot now, so that means you don't touch it. You understand? All right. Here I go. Okay, can you get me another little one? Yep, that's a good one. Thank you. Little ones. Yep, little ones. We just it would be a good idea to kind of just mark on the floor to see where the cabinets are going. Because I could totally see us ordering what we think would be right. And then it being really, really big or something. So I'm going to mark on the floor to see. <clears throat> see what that looks like. So if you mark this here and make it to where the overhang on the Kind of match the soffit up top. That would be really good. So, here's just to see what it looks like. Then we can look at appliances and kind of decide what we want to get. So, here's the markings on the floor that purple, purple line. At first, I was wanting to do like a rolling part here, but now we're considering possibly doing an island type or another peninsula type um, cabinets over there to match this side. But we got to see. How it feels with two people walking around the kitchen. So come on, babe, let's try it. Walk around the kitchen? Yeah. Okay, so pretend I'm coming through this way and you're coming through that way. No, let's put see. the chair so that the edge of the cabinet. How's that look? I don't hear more. And then don't forget that after the 30 inches, 
no, 25 inches to this line, we're gonna have another foot of counter space behind it. Which isn't a ton, like you're not gonna prep that way, but people could still sit over here and kinda hang out. But, okay. Saturday morning, and I'm sure you're all wondering what great project do they have planned for today? It's the last day of hunting season, so we're going hunting. Not really. Nope. We have a youth activity today, and it's a fundraiser, and we're trying to get some yards raked, and so we're going to go out today and see how many we can get raked, and, <clears throat> and then after that, we're going to go get our sheep, and then are going to have a Christmas day and do some fun stuff, maybe go get a little tree or whatever, just have a good family day. And then tomorrow we are going to go and help Jared's parents with his grandparents' house that they are trying to sell and just go load up a bunch of stuff. And so this weekend we are basically done working and it's the first weekend that we've actually taken off since we've lived here. So, but that's good. Taking a break is good, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a break from peak season, also, and not go to work on Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> I wish. Surprise. <laughs> so yeah. bosses, see you Wednesday. <laughs> uh, but Jared's voice is shot, so I'm, and he's been coughing all through the night. So I'm hoping that he feels better soon and that he can enjoy our day. sheep picking up our sheep all right she's a sheep wrestling mama here we go let's go to the truck <laughs> okay. and when they're small you can pick them up but it's whatever you feel comfortable oh, you <laughs> I have a baby sheep oh my god a baby sheep <laughs> oh I love you let's open this for mama Ready? I'm gonna go in with, with your sister, okay? Go in with your sister. There's All two. Right. Let's go get the next one. more.
Thanks for letting us get sheep. I'm excited. All right. So Toby just laid down for a nap and we just can't not not work. So we decided to use the time that he's gonna allow us while he sleeps. And Jared's gonna use the excavator a little bit before we have to give it back to his dad. And we're gonna clean up this area a little bit. Jared's gonna try to take the excavator and widen this a little bit, like where this bank is, so that we can easily back up the truck in or back trailers in or whatever over in this area. Oh, it's like candy. Do you love it? What number is that? I think 21. Because 21 is the least shy. 21? We got to think of a good name for 21. Yeah. 21 is brave and not shy. For the most part. For the most part. It's going to be a muddy mess for a while, but it'll be so nice to be able to at least have the section clean. Guess what? I always play full price. We're for going mine. on a date. Christmas We're going date. on a Christmas day. We're going to go to Goodwill first. Yes. See if we can find any Christmas things. And we're going to go to dinner. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go to Walmart. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a wonderful, fun Christmas date. I'm so excited. I've With been looking our forward to this all week. All week. How long? All week. just now we were at the register at Goodwill paying for some pretty Christmas things which I'll show you later and I saw this Burt's Bees hand cream and my hands I don't know if you can see them right now but they're my right hand especially is always drying and cracking and um, I think it's just overworked my right hand and so I've dried so many different things and I really like O'Keeffe's a lot but I was asking the lady how she likes her Burt's Bees hand cream and she's like oh Oh, just try some and so she opened it and I tried some on and she's like just take that with you and I was like no I can't take that because it's expensive it's expensive and she's like no please just take it with you and she gave me Kim. Kim Kim gave me her hand lotion and it just made me so happy and she blessed my heart today and God so smiled Kim, if at you're me. watching thank you yeah thanks Kim that was so sweet thanks Kim for making my heart smile Where's your full tummy? Whoa. Whoa, it's so full. Toby's taking daddy to the toys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, up front too. Aww. See the Christmas tree come over here? Honey, look. Look. We're at the Christmas lights at our church. <laughs> look how pretty I am. Look how pretty. No, I'm just daddy. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see it. <laughs> you just said, look how pretty. Look how, uh, look how pretty. Isn't that nice? This is the first time our church has ever done this. It's a Harvest Christmas Light Festival. Beautiful. So, if any of you guys want to come to church, Go Come where the lights are. Us. Come to church with right the lights. Hi. We got good looking guys, but he's uh, not available. Thank so. you. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Daddy. Hello. 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 Hey guys! <laughs> <coughs> getting over being sick. Check out what we got. We wanted to show you what we got at Goodwill yesterday. 
My wife just had to have it. Look, isn't it such a pretty Christmas wreath? Christmas wreath? Yeah, you're in the way. Christmas wreath. We love Christmas wreath. It has like little black leather feathers. And if you guys know, they're expensive. Wreaths are expensive. This one was only 10 bucks. This, this was $1.99, and she collects, not really collects, but kind of. I have a Christmas nativity scene for from Willow. From the Willow people, or whatever it's called. Yep. And this is an actual Willow tree, and, and we got this. Score. Oh! <laughs> we got these cute little, I don't even know what they are, but I love them. This was pretty cheap. This is going to be our Christmas tree for our camp trailer. Yeah. And this is going to be our Christmas tree for our house. Yep. This is one I've had for a while. Um, we're going to decorate tonight. I got a wreath and a sparkly red bow for the sheep shed door. <coughs> kind of crazy, but I've got them out there every day. Got to bring Christmas to the sheep. Yeah. Tommy, show them. Grab that. Show the camera right here. What's this? Look. Christmas got ornaments. Some glass ornaments for in here and some little, little jingle bells. Of these and a little metal bird. And then we have this tradition every year we go to Goodwill and or a thrift store and get an ugly Christmas ornament. And no offense if you guys don't think this is ugly, but this was this year's choice. And so instead of getting fancy Christmas ornaments every year, we get an ugly one. And there's little bear, little ugly. And here's here's my personal favorite. Gotta do the signature Hallmark move. We're talking, talking, talking. And then they just suddenly go, Five globe light sculptures. Okay. Yeah. Yay! Look at that canvas. Let me tell you a little tip here, a little goodwill tip. If you are not planning on returning something, you can ask for a discount and they will give it to you. Brent, am I I'm right? So we huge, keep it in the house. So yeah, I'm not huge into like the woodsy type of decor, but this has pretty colors and I like like the muted tones in it. And I think it would be really pretty, maybe even in the hallway or in our bedroom or something. Woo! So it's time to decorate yeah. for Christmas! <laughs> Did you see that? No. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! <coughs> Alright, babe. <coughs> so. <coughs> when, I, when you hear this, you come running. You'll be a good woman, you come running it. It kind of makes me want to cry. <laughs> That's stupid. Welcome home for Christmas. You're so your mom. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Thank you. 